the ubiquitous tool of the medical trade. When you walk into a doctor's office, you're guaranteed to see a stethoscope dangling around the neck of at least one white-coated professional. This isn't just for show. The stethoscope is the doctor's acoustic ally, listening to the inner happenings of the human body. So what are the parts that make up this indispensable medical instrument? The ear tips, your personal audio gatekeepers. At the very top, you've got the ear tips. They aren't just simple rubber bits. They're the starting point of diagnosis. Ear tips seal out the external world's cacophony, allowing docs like me to focus on the thumps and whooshes that hint at what's happening inside a patient. They come in different sizes because just like shoes, one size does not fit all when it comes to ears, the tubing the body's audio highway. Next up, we've got the tubing. This isn't your average garden hose. It's a precisely designed tube, often made of a flexible material like PVC, and it's got the all-important job of carrying the body's sounds from the chest piece right up to those ear tips. The tubing length varies, but most docs will tell you it's got to be just right. Too long and the sound quality drops, too short, and you're getting a little too up close and personal with those you're diagnosing. The chest piece, your sound scout. Now let's talk about the business end, the chest piece. This is the cold metal part that might provoke a shiver when it meets the skin. It's got two sides, the diaphragm and the bell. The diaphragm, that larger flat side, is like the stethoscope's drum, picking up high frequency noises such as those crisp lung sounds and the rapid ticking of the heart. Flip it around and you've got your bell. This little dome is optimized for more of the bass tones, the low frequency sounds like the gentle lub-dub of a heart in no particular hurry. The stem the conductor's baton. Connecting these two components of the chest piece is the stem, it's like a traffic cop for sounds. It directs the traffic up to your ears. On many stethoscopes, you can twist the chest piece, using a little mechanism in the stem, to select which side of the chest piece you want to use, diaphragm or bell. And there you have it. Next time you see a stethoscope, you'll know that it's not just one piece of equipment, but a finely tuned assembly of parts, each with its own crucial role in the investigation and understanding of the human body's deepest secrets.